Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. If people everywhere resolved to not take her bounty for granted and offered up prayers as well. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The beauty of this place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. By unlocking this knowledge, it allows us to heighten our spiritual potency. I invite you to do so now. Set free the secret weapon and lift yourselves higher. To study planetology. Relax. Look at this. They're holding some festival today called the River of Lights. Thinking it could be worth checking out. First, a deep, calming breath. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Tell me, is it better to spread the teachings of planetology to others? Or to focus on our own understanding? Which would you say is... Oh! Oh! Go 
Hello, sir. Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha. Well, I spy a row of razor sh You might be the QB killer we've been- But there's only one way to find out. That's right. Our audience doesn't want to hear commentary. They want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard.
talk about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible map. Though we found the canyons, stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. Tell me, is it better to spread the teachings of the planet? I ask you this, who among you has looked inward into the universe? Many travelers of joy. A seminar is in progress. I've uh, always been on the bigger side. Blessings of the planet upon you. Fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than... Please continue on into the assembly. Spending all my time indoors. According to him, a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks. And I was a burden on the planet. But he was wrong. That extra energy I received from the planet, it was a blessing. And... What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh... Where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was... a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But... there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival.
be Taurus. Must be Did I sound as awkward as I felt? Just gotta laugh it off. It's that simple. Except it's not. At least not for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm too serious for my own good. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. Like the youths who left the Vale years ago. Avalanche, they called themselves. They were young, but the desire to protect the planet burned bright. She would never forsake us, never abandon us, for we are her children, one and all. This wonderful planet is always watching over us, ever keeping calamity at. I had the pleasure, said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself with filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? Maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> oh, I've learned something, all right. That these planetologists would rather study the world than live in it. Who were we to quench such noble passions? Though their path led them elsewhere. If they ever find their way back home, I hope to be here. To welcome them with open arms. No matter what they do. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. Don't give me that bullshit. You start a story, we finish it. Cloud, if I may, allow me to add a new word to your lexicon. Decorum, meaning polite behavior, often used in the negative, like so. You sometimes exhibit a severe lack of decorum. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the... Once you die, that's that. Yeah, I totally agree. What?! Ugh, should've known better than to get philosophical with you. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. <sighs> 
That's enough. It's okay. I'll keep going. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. I commend you for Some claim they were even moved to tears. Ceremony. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no know. small I'm feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses um, such power. Bless my you. hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual this curiosity. So they have yet to be so fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... sealed so that none may enter. 
Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, vale, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. And off we go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents? Yeah. Nope. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? I see. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you'll do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. Make sure that you are well prepared. You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Burning holes in the right now. <laughs> Those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. We got this guy. <laughs> if I weren't going to over Yeah. 
Sergeant! Manaki, look here. <sighs> Such walls should be well within your power to climb. is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here, and even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying that you managed to make it all the way out of here? Somebody killed me here. Who would they be? The tribe is known to very few people outside of the veil. The rest will learn in due time. Let us proceed. Two legs here, you know. Gotcha! 
that doesn't look anything. Only got two legs here, you know. Hey, where'd you run off to? Circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do.
Arrow. Well, if it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Most would call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. 
Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past.
decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. 